I'm only 45 years old and I've got 42 years of experience in the mines. I grew up in, in the coal fields of Southern Colorado. I think I was about two years old as soon as I could walk. My dad was the uh, underground superintendent and then later on became a mine manager and uh, a lot of mine management positions. Dad was underground and I didn't have to be at school, I was underground with him. Uh, it was really amazing. I had the best Tonka trucks in the world. Everybody's like, oh, my Tonka truck. I got my best Tonka trucks ever. Started a mine in Southern Colorado called Dorchester Coal in 1978. And uh, four years old, I went out on the weekends with my dad. And we'd, uh, he had it to where I was actually running the shuttle car, which the continuous miner loads the coal into. And then he'd jump in with me and we'd drive it out, of course. And then he'd drive it back in and set me up where he was behind the miner. He could see me and I'd, I would bump the button on to run the chain conveyor inside the shuttle car while he loaded the continuous miner. And when he got it full, he'd shut me down and we'd go back outside, dump it, say goodbye to grandpa and come back in, you know? So, uh, and then throughout my, my whole career, like I said, if I wasn't in school, I was pretty much at that mine. We ran that for over 20 years. Since then, I've pretty much bounced all over, been about every coal mine in Colorado that's operating now and a lot that aren't operating anymore. 2004, I started my uh, hard rock mining career, if you will, I guess. And uh, since then, I've bounced between the last 15 years, 20 years now, I've been bouncing between different contracts of uh, coal mining and hard rock mining. I've been on uh, three continents, five countries, almost all 50 states, mine Canada, uh, Mongolia, Australia, uh, projects in Mexico, um, different projects all over, the, all over the country. It's been uh, pretty awesome. Uh, place to be and it's uh, I, I don't know I guess I don't know any better than to be underground everybody says isn't it scary you know I don't know I think the surface is scary yet airplanes fall out of the sky there's asteroids thunder and lightning wild grizzly bears come around you know you don't, you don't get that underground it's there's a lot of different things that'll get you but um, it's just something I've always done I guess so I don't know I guess I don't know any better I'm actually a journeyman machinist as well licensed journeyman machinist so I've been uh, Assigned to help with the upgrade and the re rehabilitation and re rebuilding of our uh, main hoist system here at the base hunter right now. Whether it's mechanicing on things or being an electrician or actually being a miner, management positions, do it all. So, and it's uh, I really enjoy it all. Uh, that, that's why I'm here. This is a this is a really cool, unique project. I've got a obviously growing up in the mining, I've got a tremendous respect and a fascination for the history of the mining throughout throughout the world, really. But uh, being a Colorado native, I'm definitely interested in the Colorado side of it. To be a part of the one of the original gold mines in the state of Colorado, this, this started in 1859. And we're back here doing it the same, I mean, obviously we have the modern technologies that we have to follow, modern rules from governments and what have you. But basically doing the same thing the old timers did back in 1908, 1859. 1970s, the 60s, the 50s, all the way back. And it's uh, it's amazing, because I've always heard of the stories, but to now to actually be a part of that story and to relive that story, it's fantastic. Appreciate every chance that I got to be here. So it's, it's, uh, it's a good deal, it's a good deal, so.